A man who gets this, as few others do, certainly in the United States Congress, perhaps because he's been at the pointy end of the spear, rising through the ranks of the United States Army to the status of a brigadier general, having flown combat missions in fixed and rotary wing aircraft in places like Iraq and Afghanistan. A man that I have come to regard as one of the real heroes in the United States Congress. Mostly unsung, frankly, because he's not big on getting credit, point that was made earlier. The chairman of the House Homeland Security's Oversight Committee, subcommittee, I should say, that has done incredibly important work, among other things, on exposing the Muslim Brotherhood and the threat that it, among other organizations, represents in terms of Sharia supremacism. His name is Scott Perry, and he is a representative of the people of Pennsylvania in the Congress. And my fervent prayer is that he will continue in that capacity because we desperately need his help. <laughs> Congressman Scott Perry. Thank you all. Uh, and I also want to just say that uh, I thank Frank and his team, the Center for Security Policy. Uh, we do a lot of praying in, con in Congress, and we need to. Um, he brought the, uh, the persecuted Christians exhibit to Congress, and I, I took a moment to come down and see it. And I will just tell you, um, the, th the, same, the whole thing is very moving. If you're, if you're not moved by it, you don't have a soul. Um, but I am the father of two little girls. And Frank pointed out the one panel if you look at it. And I will just tell you, I prayed for the little girl who was being sold. And I prayed for her father, being a father of little girls. And I prayed that if that ever happened to me and my family, that somebody got to that guy that was selling that little girl before I did. I prayed that. Um, you know, these are troubled times, not only in the world, but in this country, and, and the Lord said that people that were on his side were gonna be persecuted, and we know that, right? And that's how you know you're over the target and doing the right thing, but Psalms 46, one says, God is our refuge and strength, an ever-present help in trouble. Will you join me in prayer? Dear Lord, we pray thanks for this evening together, for Frank and his team, for those in this room willing to be heard, we ask for the Lord's traveling mercies as we travel home. And we pray for God's continued blessing and grace on our wonderful country of America. All, the, all these things we ask in your precious name. Amen.